this is a little video on how to wire a continuous duty solenoid to power multiple regulators or in this case a external regulator you will take two you'll have two studs on your on a continuous duty solenoid one will be power input uh, you'll take that off of the alternator stud or again the closest point to your alternator stud that you can get to um, the reason why you do that is so the voltage regulator or whatever you're powering sees as close to what is the generated voltage is versus what you're dropping to at that point. Um, that's so you don't see spiking and a lot of other issues that people see with external regulators in general. Um, you'll also have a power output. And again, that will be powering whatever regulator you have. Then you're going to have a switch terminal. Um, that is going to be what you're going to wire to your either your key switch, your uh, switch. I mean, you might have a switch on the dash you want to turn the regulator on and off with. That's fine as well. Or uh, some ACC signal. Uh, a lot of guys even use their radio remote out to turn this on as well. Um, the other thing that you'll want is uh, a good ground at the case. If it's case ground like this one, or if it's using a ground terminal, you'll have that. You'll want that to be grounded as well. Um, I always recommend a gauge at least going to this for an external regulator um, it's all really dependent on how long of a run you have on my test bench I could have probably gotten away with like 12 gauge just because it's that's not very long you're looking at you know what that's a foot that's less than a foot uh, if you're looking at like three four feet of runs that's one of the reasons why you're going to want to use eight gauges so you have that less voltage drop from the current drop um, and again just a test proven proof of concept this is my switched wire running to what we'll describe as my key switch on the test bench. I'm gonna hit that, solenoid turns on, and now the regulator is on. Uh, any other questions, uh, fire away in the comments. I'll be sure to put a link for a continuous duty solenoid that I use a lot off of Amazon in the link below. Have a good one, bye.